Welcome back to Best Practice. Today's masterclass is a special one. For the past several months, I've been um, using this incredible 1706 uh, Giuseppe Guarneri Filius Andre violin, generously on loan to me by uh, Mooning and Son Violins in Boston. The main project for this violin is something I'll reveal a bit later in the future, but for today I wanted to um, share its wonderful voice with all of you and just uh, make a video about practicing and what I learned about practicing on this particular instrument, which has such incredible potential for uh, various types of sounds. So what you're going to see is a stream of how I practice a piece of music. So I'm going to take the third violin sonata of Johannes Brahms, and you'll see how I work on various things, such as sound production, um, different bow strokes, articulations, intonation, dynamics, phrasing, nuance, um, how I repeat things, and just in general, how I push this instrument to discover what it can do. I'm also announcing that today I will be releasing my new ebook called 64 Practice Hacks. Basically, this is a concise manual that uh, contains everything I know about practicing, and it's organized into different categories. Various practical techniques can be applied to to anything, repertoire, etudes, scales even. Um, now, part of the reason that I've released this, and it's been years in the making, is most of the practice advice I see on the web is kind of very generic, and there's a lot of good material dealing with psychological approaches to practicing, but I didn't see very much practical advice and things that you, know, you could implement into your uh, daily routine and things that you can assign to students if you're a teacher. So think of it as a master cheat sheet for practicing. Um, and certainly it'll help you follow along in this video. And um, I'm just really happy with how it came out and you can purchase it um, using the link in the description. Also, if you support my work on Patreon, you can get a uh, discount on this ebook and all future uh, documents that I'm going to release. Now let's get started with the Brahms. I'm going to work through some of the more famous passages. I'm also going to describe what you're hearing and seeing. One thing to keep in mind is that this will be a sort of condensed form of practicing. Uh, normally I would do many more repetitions of something, especially if it's uh, kind of physically, technically challenging. Um, because you have to always remember that when you play something correctly, that's only the beginning. That doesn't mean you move on. That means, okay, now I start repeating it, integrating it, and focusing on you know, how I can build that into my muscle memory. So let's get started.
So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to tackle the second movement, the beautiful and transcendent adagio. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. And uh, once again, if you would like to purchase the 64 practice hacks, you can find that link in the description. See you all next time.